So I would like to talk a little bit more about your Norwegian elk hounds because you describe them as, as being independent thinking. Mm -hmm. And there are actually many juniors here that have some challenging breeds that they're showing and also um, rare breeds. So mm -hmm. could you talk a little bit about, about your preference that you're you know, working with an elk hound who's an independent thinker? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. The biggest thing is embracing it. I've had dogs, you know, jump up square to head height with me in the ring and you just smile and, and keep going. And a lot of the times that's what judges are looking for. They're looking for you to kind of embrace their energy and be able to handle and control that. Um, I had many judges over the years um, be very impressed with my ability to handle high energy um, dogs who kind of do what they want when they want to. Uh, so not, not everyone is going to be able to recognize that. I know a lot of the times I kind of kept notes, uh, and found that if they were, if they did certain breeds, like different, like a lot of the times hound group was easier for me than set, like a toy judge was looking for something else in the juniors ring. Uh, and that's kind of just the way it works sometimes. Uh, but I, I think the biggest thing is realizing what those dogs have to offer and and being able to show that um, i've definitely seen difficulties with rare breeds and judges not knowing how that dog should be presented um, there, there was definitely a few people uh, as well as me in the juniors ring when i was younger uh, and the the judges just didn't realize that you were presenting them the proper way uh, or Maybe they thought you were doing something wrong. And, and sometimes that like, that's just the way it was gonna be sometimes. Um, so I, I think kind of just taking their energy and, and channeling that and having fun with that. And it's not always gonna feel that way. And that's definitely something that you have to learn because I <laughs> get frustrated and embarrassed. Uh, and then I realized that it, it really wasn't that big a deal um, when they did that and you will be rewarded for it sometimes. 